Welcome, to ViewChem, the Chemistry Animations Channel. Mechanism of, Nucleophilic, Addition Reactions In the carbonyl group, carbon is, doubly bonded to, oxygen. Compounds containing carbonyl group, are called, carbonyl compounds. Molecules, containing, double, or, triple bonds, are, unsaturated. We know that, unsaturated molecules, undergo, addition reactions. So, carbonyl compounds, being unsaturated, undergo, addition reactions, specifically, nucleophilic, addition reactions. Reason, for the carbonyl compounds, to undergo, nucleophilic, addition reactions. Carbonyl group is, planar. Oxygen is, more electronegative, than, carbon. Electronegativity values of, carbon is, 2.55, and, oxygen is, 3.44, on, Pauling scale. As a result, loosely bound pi electrons, are attracted, towards oxygen. Hence, oxygen gets partial negative charge, and, carbonyl carbon gets, equivalent magnitude of, partial positive charge. At this situation, species with more electron density, that is, nucleophiles, can attack, add to, partially positively charged carbon, either from, the top, or, from the, bottom. This is, nucleophilic, addition reaction. Mechanism of, nucleophilic, addition reactions. It is just explained, that, the carbonyl group is, planar. Further, it is also understood, that, the oxygen atom, in the carbonyl group, is, more electronegative, than, carbon. So, oxygen attracts, bonded pair of electrons. As a result, oxygen gets, partial negative charge, and, Carbonyl carbon gets, equivalent magnitude of, partial positive charge. If, the nucleophile, attacks, the partially positively charged carbon of, carbonyl group, from the upper side, a transition state, is formed, it is a slow, reversible, and, rate determining step, in the formation of transition state, the sp2 carbonyl carbon starts conversion to, sp3 carbon. The transition state, leads to the formation of, a tetrahedral intermediate, in which, the sp2 carbonyl carbon, completely converts to, sp3 carbon. Protonation of the, anion, gives the product. It is a faster step. Alternatively, the nucleophile may attack, from the bottom. Transition state. Tetrahedral intermediate. Attack of proton. Product formation. The mechanism, can also be viewed as. 
Carbonyl compound. Attack of the nucleophile from the upper side. Formation of the transition state. Formation of the tetrahedral intermediate. Attack of H plus ion. Formation of the product. If the nucleophile attacks from the bottom. It is important to note that, if, R1, and, R2, are different, then, there will be formation of, racemic mixture, that is, equimolar mixture of, D, and, L, isomers, as, the products obtained would be, mirror images, to each other, that is, enantiomers. The mechanism of, acid-catalyzed, nucleophilic, addition reactions, the first step, in the acid-catalyzed, nucleophilic, addition is, the attack of, proton, on the, partially negatively charged, oxygen. As a result, oxonium cation, is formed. It is a faster step. Oxonium cation is stabilized by resonance. Nucleophile can easily attack the carbon off oxonium ion. It is the slow and rate determining step. As a result, transition state is formed. Product formation takes place from the transition state. The mechanism can be viewed as carbonyl compound attack of proton on partially negatively charged oxygen formation of oxonium cation attack of nucleophile on the carbon off oxonium ion formation of transition state Formation of product. Please note that, in general, aldehydes are more reactive than ketones. To understand the reason, let us look into the general structures of aldehyde and ketone. Aldehyde. Ketone. Mainly, two factors, affect, the reactivity. The first one is, steric factor. It can be observed, from the structures of, aldehyde, and, ketone, that, the carbonyl carbon, in the aldehydes, is less crowded, and, less hindered, due to the bonding with, at least, one hydrogen atom. This factor, facilitates, the approach of, incoming nucleophile. But, in ketones, the carbonyl carbon, is more crowded, and, more hindered, due to the bonding with, two bulkier, alkyl groups. So, the approach of, incoming nucleophile, is, restricted. The second one is, electronic factor. Greater the extent of, positive charge, on carbonyl carbon, higher will be the, reactivity of, that carbonyl compound. In aldehydes, only one alkyl group, attached to carbonyl carbon, decreases, the extent of partial positive charge, by, positive inductive effect, that is, plus I effect. But in ketone, two alkyl groups decrease the extent of partial positive charge on carbonyl carbon by plus I effect. So, in ketones, decrement in the partial positive charge on carbonyl carbon is more. Hence, ketones are 
less reactive, than, aldehydes. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.